Hey everybody, it's Mimi Makeup Artist dot com again and I'm here to talk about my in vitro process. I want to keep this really short as possible and real and raw so that's why you see me. I'm not wearing too much makeup here and I'm just keeping it natural. So I want to blend this whole video into a health and beauty kind of deal. So let's get on it. So I'm going to let you know a little bit about my history, what happened through me through cancer. And I want to thank all my donators at my GoFundMe page and people who have supported me all through my cancer. Um, I just want to thank all of you and God bless you in Jesus name. So um, let's get on it. So in 2012, I was I found out I had alveolar soft part sarcoma and it was a very hard experience. Um, I didn't think I was going to live. I was in an emergency room um, for about six, seven days and I bled practically to death. So this is a little explicit. Um, we didn't know what it was. We found out later that it was alveolar soft part sarcoma and we will get to the point where I am into this in vitro process. We are in day second. So just to go back a little bit more, um, in 2012 I discovered I had on my cervix and going into my uterus, it was supposed to be a thyroid. It was supposed to be a polyp that they were looking at since I'm about 18, 19 years old. And at 36, we discovered that it was alveolar soft part sarcoma. Alveolar soft part sarcoma is um, very deadly. It metastasizes in about four years. Mine never did, or we don't know yet. I'm still, I'm not disease free. Um, as far as they know, I'm NED, so there's no existence of metastases that they have discovered after eight years now. Um, I have a 10 year mark. Um, so I still have a certain percentage that it could come back. Um, so yeah, I had about five blood transfusions. I landed in the little company of Mary Hospital. And um, Dr. Raymond Mirhashimi saved my life. And still is my doctor today and a family member and um, our angel and hero in our family. So anyhow, this is how my I this is how I got to this whole IVF process. Um, when I discovered that I had sarcoma, they told me to save my eggs because I might end up without having a hysterectomy and never having children in my life. So that was really tough to also take um, at a time where I think I'm practically dying. Who the hell knows? But it was it was devastating and. Um, for me and my mother. And um, I really didn't have too many family members around at that time. And were not too much support by family at all, um, besides my mother and uh, my husband. So I went through this whole process practically by myself um, with my mom by my side. So thank God for her. And um, a lot, of, no friends were around. Everybody was doing their own thing. And, um, so anyhow, at 2012, my best friends, my doctors, my Raymond Mirhashimi, he uh, said to me, you go save your eggs, you know, you got to do this. You know, if you want to have babies, I went into this, all this process, trying to get pregnant and have a baby. And meanwhile, I found out I had sarcoma sitting in my body since I'm a late teen um, for about 15 years. Um, they were checking at that spot for many years. It's on my cervix. It's not it's easy to see So I've been going to the doctors and wondering why I had bleeding spells and all these things that girls have and anyhow it ended up being um, I'm the third woman in the world who's ever had it on her reproductive system It is the rarest cancer of them all. It is the rarest cancer in the sarcoma group especially on your reproductive system it usually goes on your ex exterior parts like your legs and your arms but it was on my 
cervix. And I do know of one little girl, she was about three, four years old, who had a hysterectomy due to sarcoma on her cervix here in America. So maybe there's five, ten of us in the world that ever experienced anything like this. It is very rare. Yeah, I'm special. Whatever. Um, anyhow, I saved my eggs at that time. I froze them. I had We had just def def unfroze them and fertilized them with my husband's semen. And um, if this is a little too explicit for you, hey, you know, you're more than welcome to turn off the channel. Um, I do not um, promote anybody or anything. This is just a natural raw video for all my supporters. And um, so anyhow, um, yeah, so in 2013, I also did another in vitro that failed. So this is, this is my third in vitro. Anyhow, last month we, diff, you know, unfroze the eggs from 2012. And we got one embryo and in the chromosome 12, it was an extra chromosome. So out of 10 eggs, we only got one embryo. It was very difficult moment and um so now we're going to try some fresh eggs so we're going through the ivf process process tomorrow the next day where i'm going to start getting the needles so we're just waiting for insurance and um hopefully you will all follow me and support me through my process here in the next 15 days we'll see if we get an embryo so let, let's all pray to jesus and you know mighty savior to wish us well and bless us with the most beautiful thing that anybody can ever have and my dream going through all this was to have a baby until this day it is it hasn't failed I want to be a mother so and uh, you know at the same time I have a beautiful husband and um, we are very much in love and we love each other and we want to make this happen so we're using the best technology. We have Dr. Dal, uh, Hal Danzer in Beverly Hills. Um, what is it? Uh, there's, I work with so many fertility centers, you guys. Please bear with me if I make a mistake of saying something. Um, I'm with Southern California um, Fertility Center in Beverly Hills on Roxbury. Dr. Hal Danzer, he is... A professor at UCLA in the fertility department. He is specializes kind of in my situation. He's been around for a long time. So I think he is the right person to help me through this process. And um, I have a very low chance of this succeeding, but um, it really is up to God. So we just prayers and positive vibes and positive energy. Um, thank you all for supporting me um, through this process and liking my posts and pages. Please subscribe here, like, view. I need all the support I can and enjoy the process with me and my husband and our love of trying to have a baby. So the next step is fresh eggs and um, we're just uh, now going to I was on estrogen for a few days. Uh, it looks like I got a blood clot um, in my calf. And we'll see about that after this process. So I do have an IVC filter in my vein um, from prior for from prior surgeries and stuff. So um, it should protect me from any kind of blood clots hitting my heart or my brain because it's of like a filter that's been there for a long time. So um, it was supposed to be taken out. It never was. And hey, you never know why. So maybe it's good for all in the end. Um, so <laughs> anyhow, I want to keep this like 10 minutes or so. I don't want to bore people. And um, yeah, so, you know, talking about a little bit about makeup. I just want to show you. I don't want to use a lot of chemicals on my face. So... Let's talk about that, too. I'm just using First Aid Beauty Serum. All right. It's great. I'm using Bashia Indigo. I don't know if you can see it. Indigo, like a purple kind of eye cream. 
because you know I'm trying to keep this natural keep all the chemicals away I'm using this amazing face cream almost 100% organic um, by Botanics you can get it at any drugstore Target love it face cream essential oils first aid tinted moisturizer called bone is the color they have several colors by first aid beauty first aid beauty concealing and this is like you know a primer they have and a cleanser so this is all i have on my face i went to the threading salon and i got henna um, brows because i don't want chemicals on my face very light it's just essential oil sicily amazing compact bronzer i love with my chanel brush and uh, Chantecai uh, Mascara Black. So I'm keeping it natural. I did a By Terry lip balm, rose lip balm. I love that so much. I used to work for By Terry. It's amazing products um, with the roses and uh, essential oils inside. It's just amazing products. I love products. So we're going to blend in my baby, baby process and my cancer I'm gonna let you guys know everything I went through again and we'll get there I just want to introduce myself and um, a little bit about what I experienced and just thank all of you for being there for me thank you so much and uh, you all have a positive day and I'll see you soon next few days I did my hair and keeping it natural you know hey there's no fillers in my face or anything I'm keeping all that at the um a minimal a zero zilch you know because I'm going through all this process so next time we're going to talk about my vitamins and what I'm taking and ready to go have some dinner tonight thank you so much for supporting me have a great day everybody I love all of you thank you bye-bye